In China's latest efforts to crack down on critics, they're now putting million dollar bounties out on pro democracy activists, including our next guest, Francis Hoy, a Hong Kong activist in exile who announced the news on X, saying in part, quote, My advocacy for democracy has and freedom has and will not stop. Francis Hoy joins us now to discuss. Uh, Francis, thanks for being with us this morning. Um, tell us how this. Tell us about this bounty, how you learned that there is a million dollar bounty on you for advocating for democracy. Yeah, so I woke up 7 a.m. in the morning and I got a bunch of texts um, and calls going through my phone and all about, you know, a million dollar bounty that's placed on my head, and uh, including four other overseas Hong Kongers. And that's after the first round of bounties I was issued back in July. Um, and I learn about this right after, right when I wake up, and um, you know there isn't really much time to react. But um, it, it's it's definitely caught me off guard. Although we, a lot of us have um, expected to come, um, it definitely was a shocking news to me um, to know that this is kind of like a death certificate of the, the actual. Um, the fact that I wouldn't be able to return to Hong Kong and that my activism in the U.S. for Hong Kong for democracy and freedom it's now criminalized um, in, in in Hong Kong. Well, you said I, I, I can't return to Hong Kong, but how safe do you feel even in the United States? I mean, this was targeted at overseas activists, including yourself. So now that your daily life, uh, we can see behind you, I, everyone can see the screen rolling past here in Washington. Daily life right now, I mean. How much do you feel under threat? Yeah, so the Hong Kong police also got it very straight that they uh, can't really arrest anyone um, outside of Hong Kong. And all they were saying is to hope that we turn ourselves in. And uh, certainly they don't have extraterritorial power to arrest us. But the problem here is the transnational repression that CCP is infamous for uh, using to uh, silence uh, activists and harass activists all around the world. So now we have, you know, a lot of China outposts, um, including the Hong Kong Economic and Trade offices that are located in in Washington D.C., in New York, and San Francisco, and all all around the world. And also, uh, you know, over hundreds of um, Chinese secret police stations and and right. you know different uh, agents that are around the world. These are the people who are. Basically, extending the kind of harassment and intimidations um, on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party to uh, go out there and spy on activists. And I have in the past experienced that. I had in the past, you know, being tailed, followed, um, and, and um, gotten death threats for, you know, right after I became a public figure. And so this is definitely something that the U.S. needs to address, and Can you know, not just alone by themselves, but also with other democratic allies, including the U.K. and Australia, and so forth. Real quick, Francis, I just have to ask as a follow-up. I mean, you're right; they can't extradite you, but I mean, the point of a bounty is to use extrajudicial means to bring someone in. A million dollars is a lot of incentive, I and mean, we all understand the nature of bounty hunting. And so I'm just curious. Um, and you brought up, by the way, the the, the secret police stations. I think would have to be a part of this story as well. So, I mean, at a minimum, have you heard from anyone in American law enforcement or the American government? This seems like a credible threat. For sure, yeah. Uh, so, I right after I learn about the news, I have already got in touch with um, offices on the Hill and um, you know law enforcement agencies to um, let them know about this news. And I think um, a lot of us are mostly concerned about you know personal safety and whether or not you know the they are going to harm us further. Um, but I think again, I need to emphasize that this is an act of intimidation and wanting to yeah. stop our work. And I will be really strong and reiterate here that none of us will stop and will continue to fight for the cause and, and you know for the movement for Hong Kong and freedom and democracy. All right, Francis Hoy, we wish you the best of luck. Appreciate your work for democracy. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.